Hi, this is Math Practice with Mrs. Smith. I am Mrs. Smith, and today we're investigating exponents and powers of 10. This little number is the exponent, and it tells you how many times you're going to multiply this base number to itself. In fifth grade, we focus on powers of 10, so we're just going to use exponents on a base number of 10 for powers of 10. Using exponents to represent powers of 10 would look like this. Let's start with 10 to the first power. 10 to the first power is just another way of saying 10. 10 to the power of 2 would be like 10 times 10, or 100. 10 to the second power would be another way of saying 100. 10 to the third power, or 10 to the power of 3. 10 times 10 times 10. You're going to multiply 10 to itself three times, which is the same thing as 1,000. 10 to the 4th power, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10,000. 10 to the 5th power would be 100,000. Look, there's a pattern. 10 to the 1st power had 1 zero, because it was worth 10. 10 to the 2nd power had 2 zeros, it was worth 100. 10 to the 3rd power had 3 zeros, it was worth 1,000. 10 to the 4th power was 10,000, so it has 4 zeros. 10 to the 5th power, or the power of 5, had 5 zeros for 100,000. We can use that pattern to help us when we're working with powers of 10, whether they're expressed with exponents or not. Let's look at what we know and use it to help us figure out what we don't know. So we know 5 times 100 is 500. That means we also know that 5 times 10 to the power of 2 is 500, because 10 to the power of 2 is just another way of expressing 100. If 6 times 1,000 is 6,000, then 6 times 10 to the power of what would equal 6,000? Are you thinking 3? Good thinking. How about 4 times 10 to the 4th power? What would that look like as a number in standard form? You got it, 40,000. There would be four zeros on that number. How about this one? What number times 10 to the 3rd power would equal 9,000? Nine times 10 to the third power would equal 9,000. One more. How about 12 times 10 to the third power? That would be 12,000. Nice job. I'm going to give you a perfect 10 for all that hard work today. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my other math videos, especially if you're a fifth grader. See you next time. Bye-bye.